Hi, I'm Steve Bigger, Director of Equity Research for S&P Capital IQ. Welcome to this week's edition of Equity Analyst Forum. With me today on Equity Analyst Forum is publishing analyst Westcott Rochette. Welcome to the program, Westcott. Thank you. So this week's focus stock of the week is EW Scripps. Can you tell us a bit about what the company does? So we're here to talk about EW Scripps. It's a $780 million market cap company. It primarily operates in newspapers and local broadcasts. And the interesting thing about the company is even though its roots are grounded in newspapers, over the last few years, it's really been transitioning itself more into a local broadcast company. And that's where we think the opportunity lies. It, it is still being benchmarked against its publishing peers, which are going through a little bit of a disruptive period and not being fully recognized for the valuable prospects in local broadcast. Mm -hmm. So how about the fundamentals of the company and what are the kind of the drivers of earnings growth at this point? So it's really a tale of two businesses for this company. First being the local TV, which we think are very favorable. And you know, the, the industry as a whole has been experiencing a bit of a renaissance lately. And we, we attribute that to three factors, hyper-local, re, uh, retransmission, and political. So in hyper-local, even though advertising is changing dramatically, local television remains one of the few avenues to reach local constituencies and continues to garner advertising dollars as a result. Mm -hmm. And for retransmission, retransmission is a term that cable and satellite companies agree to pay an amount to uh, the local broadcast affiliates in order to transmit their signals to their subscribers. This is a relatively new phenomenon that has been growing rapidly and becoming a more increasing part of their overall uh, their overall revenues and earnings. And as, you know, as a point of reference, it was, as an industry, $200 million in 2006. Mm -hmm. It's $2.3 billion in 2012, and it's set to triple again over the next five years. Scripps should be able to garner their share. Mm -hmm. And lastly is politics. So we all have seen how much political spending has increased dramatically over the last few years, while well, local TV is the place where the lion's share of that political advertising goes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's an easy way to reach a laid-back, low-interest consumer uh, or voter and try and influence that, that voter. So for, you think about 2014, you're setting up for a pretty strong midterms where the House and the Senate are both going to be in play and in contention. And then 2016 is setting up for even greater because you're going to have two uh, parallel primaries of both the Republicans and the Democrats. Mm -hmm. uh, for its part, Scripps actually has most of its broadcast stations in critical swing states, so it's going to over-index to that political spend. On the newspapers, it's a little more challenging because the business uh, continues to try and find a new model and its footing as it's been disrupted you know, by the internet and by mobile. Um, they have found a stabilization by adopting a paywall where people will pay for the content and shift away from advertising. Scripps is following this model and introducing their paywall this year, but admittedly it's going to be a difficult transition and we believe that the Scripps management has recognized this, which is why they've been transitioning towards more favorable local broadcast. Mm -hmm. How about valuation? So how, how are you valuing this company? Uh, what's your target price and how much upside? So our target price is $17, which is a 20% upside. Mm -hmm. um, we think it's appropriate to use a sum of the parts valuation because of the uh, you know, disparate values of each of the two businesses. So we apply a four times enterprise value to EBITDA mm -hmm. on, the, uh, on the publishing side of the business which is in line to the lower side of its peers. Mm -hmm. We apply an eight times to the broadcast, which again is within uh, its kind of peer multiple. So if you, if you combine those, you, that derives a $17 share price. Mm -hmm. How about risks? What would you highlight? The two biggest risks we would highlight would be um, both tied to regulatory. The first being uh, regulatory broadcast rights because they have the right to broadcast the, the TV signals if that were to change either through 
legislative or judicial, then you'd have to adjust the, uh, the value chain accordingly in the business model. Uh, second would be, I think, campaign refinance laws. If that were to ever really gain traction, then you probably would lower the rate of advertising spending, which mm -hmm. would directly impact the local TV. Great. Thanks. Right. Thank you. And that's been this week's edition of Equity Analyst Forum. We'll see you again next week.